Name that bass line. Name that bass line. Name the bass. Name that bass line. Name that bass line. Or suffer the consequences. Guten Tag, bass fanatics, and welcome to the 10th edition of the only game show on YouTube that asks you to name that bass line. If you were looking for the Olympics coverage, you've come to the wrong place. I'm your host, and no, I am not a James Brown in vitro mishap. Why is it always a bad hair day when you get your mugshot taken? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed our brand spanking new opening theme song. Thanks to my friend Aaron Howells for playing the drums on that. Today is the season finale of Name That Bass Line, and it's a biggie. You never know who's going to stop by, so get ready for some surprises. Where does the time go? I can't believe it's been 10 episodes already. With 10 bass lines per episode, that's a total of... Carry the two. 100 bass lines. Wow! I'm feeling a little nostalgic, so I thought it would be fun to take a look back on all the memorable moments from our previous episodes. So we cut together a fun little montage featuring some exciting highlights from the first season of Name That Bass Line. Could we roll that, please? Wow. That song can make even the happiest of occasions into the most morbidly depressing suicidal bloodbath. Good times, though. I feel like I really know you people. What's that? Oh, oh, how exciting. My pretend producer has just informed me that apparently a very popular YouTube bassist is calling in to wish me a happy 10th episode. Oh, they're Skyping us all the way from London, England. Wow, I have no idea who's paying for this, but I'm very curious as to who it might be. Are you there, mystery YouTube bassist? Hey, it's Paul from HowToPlayBass.com. Hey, Paul, greetings from New York. How are you? What's, what's up there? In today's lesson, we're going to show you how to congratulate Fluffy on his first season of Name That Bass Line. Oh, thank you. Before we get started with the celebration, if you're not a subscriber to my free monthly easy, I'm not. Boot up your computer, open your browser, go to YouTube. In the search box, punch up HowToPlayBass.com, uh -huh. select one of my videos, then click on the link underneath the video, head over to the website, go to the bottom of the page where it says easy put in your name uh, and your email. Uh, Paul, Paul uh, maybe we could do the easing instructions later. Uh, for those that don't know, Paul has a really fantastic YouTube channel with hundreds of great bass tutorials. How many songs have you got on there, Paul? That's C on the third fret of the A string, D on the fifth fret of the A string, E on the second fret of the D string. Uh, Paul, sorry, uh, what are you doing? We're looking at the notes in the major scale pattern. That's F on the third fret of the D string, G. Uh, uh, Paul, Paul, that's great, but I honestly don't think we have time for that right now, and plus I, I already know the notes in the major scale. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, and you can see how the pieces all fit together. Have fun with it. Thank you. And that will conclude this part of the tutorial. We'll be back next week with the second part. Next week? A on the second fret of the G string, B on the fourth fret of the G uh, string. Uh, Paul from HowToPlayBass.com, everybody. C on the fifth fret of the G string. Thank you, Paul. Okay, time to play Name That Bass Line. If you don't know how the game works, you're going to hear pieces from 10 signature bass lines from 10 different artists. See if you can guess what they are. If you're really stumped, we'll have some clues along the way. And as always, the answers are at the end of the video, along with the names of the bassists who played on the original recordings. Great, let's play. First up is our final Donald Duck Dunn bass line of the season. And this one was called from some of the sessions he did in London with the late, great Muddy Waters. Here's Duck Dunn on the one. Love how that one swings at the end. This next one is pretty hot, or should I say, really boss. Here's baseline number two.
Today's viewer baseline came in from Lou Peruzia of Ontario, Canada, one of our YouTube subscribers. In addition to the original version of this song, there was also a cover by a pretty famous band in the early 90s. I'll be covering their cover. <coughs> Here's baseline number three, and thanks for the suggestion, Lou. Okay, let's catapult right into the Fab Four. No explanation needed on this one except that it's typically a Paul McCartney bass line. Here's our final Fab Four of 2012. <laughs> Great! I was hesitant to even tackle this next one because I know the guest bassists have all covered it and done it far better than I ever could. But since I enjoy punishment, I gave it a shot anyway. Here's a little bit of baseline number five. And to any haters out there, don't harsh my buzz. Yeesh, what a killer. It's always fun when the vocalist wants to change keys on that one. Speaking of changing keys, I was That's doing a G gig last week. The 10th fret of the A string. Oh, e no, on Paul's the 7th back. fret of the A string. Is he still doing a the notes in the, the major scale? The D string. R on the 34th fret of the F string. R on the 34th fret of the F string. Q on the 96th fret of the N string. These are subway stops, w not notes. W on the 200th fret of the Y it. string. L. Uh, uh, on could the we get rid of Paul, please? It's, a, it's a little West. distracting. Thank you. Okay, let's keep pressing on because I'm missing the women's beach volleyball coverage. Unfortunately, bikinis are optional this year. This next one is a pretty famous funk groove which peaked in the U.S. at number one on the Billboard charts in February of 1975. Get ready to jam with me on baseline number six. <laughs> Okay, as I mentioned earlier in the show, our friend Lewis Miller is here to help me out with a special little tribute. In addition to Adam Yauch and Donald Duck Dunn, we recently lost yet another great bassist this year, so I asked Lou to cover one of his most famous tracks for us. It's a great bass line from a great classic song. Take it away, Lou. Here's bass line number seven. Thanks so much, Lou. Nice groove on that one. Next, we have our three guest bassists coming at you. First up, as always, is Troy Hughes, a.k.a. TJH3113. I must say I was pretty surprised when I heard this week's submission from Troy, because it's about as far from Rush as you can get. But I don't think there's anything Troy can't play. Here he is with bass line number eight. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Was that really you, or was it an evil bagworm from outer space in a Troy costume? I guess we'll never know. Getting back to his roots with this next one is our friend David Caraccio. David is currently in the recording studio with his band Deep Kick, so thanks to him for taking time out to send in this bass line. I think you hardcore fans are going to know this one right away. Here's David Sin Rocks with bass line number nine. <laughs> Name that bass line. And last but never least, it's Thomas Marlowe D.K. Rizel. I'm glad Thomas chose this one because the message is one that I firmly believe in. It's a great one to end the season with. Here's Thomas with bass line number 10. Thanks, Thomas. Now, usually I would say goodnight here, but since I did promise some surprises for our season finale, it's time to deliver the goods. Today's show goes to 11. That's right, a bonus bass line right here and now. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. 
for the first time ever. Here's baseline number 11. That's going to wrap up our season finale of Name That Baseline. My sincere thanks to Troy Hughes, David Caraccio, and Thomas Rizell for their involvement in this show, and also Lewis Miller and everyone else who contributed videos, comments, or suggestions. We'll kick off our triumphant second season with brand new shows in January of 2013, unless I find something better to do. In the meantime, please be sure and subscribe to my channel to stay in the loop on when new videos are posted. And also please stop by and like our Facebook page for access to exclusive unaired video clips, as well as details on how you can be a part of season two. And of course, stay tuned if you want the answers to today's baselines. I can only tell you that it has been an honor and a privilege to come into your homes all these months and entertain you. And I hope that when I find more baselines that I want to do and that I think you would like and come back, that you will be as gracious in inviting me into your home as you have been. I bid you a very heartfelt good night. Q on the 96th fret of the N string, W on the 200th fret of the Y string, L on the 125th fret of Central Park West,